Hello. Today is Monday, March 21st, when in Hillsboro, in the suburb of Portland in Oregon. And uh, it's the first day of spring, and look, it's sunny and it's beautiful. And I just read in the news that the radiation from the Japanese plant is reaching us. It was raining this morning and I was wondering, while having my lunch under the rain, if I was getting slowly contaminated. It makes me angry, makes me sad. I have two small children that are three and four. And of course I'm wondering if I'm going to see them die of leukemia in some years. In the articles I've read, um, they're just saying the radiation levels are not harmful at this point, the levels are low, but what I've read also is that it's the accumulation in the body that is dangerous. So right now, it means that any product growing outside at this point is getting rained on, is getting dew in the morning, covered in radiation, and that it's by consuming those fresh organic, healthy product that I am going to increase the level of um, radioactive, radioactive particles in my body and in my kids' body and in my loved one's body. And what can I do? So my brain gears off into find solutions, find solutions. Um, okay, so find uh, CSA share that grow in greenhouses. So they don't get rained on. Uh, stop dairy products. No more cheese. No more milk. Um, cover all of our beds. So perhaps I'll be able, and my kids are going to be able to pick strawberries from our garden this summer without me freaking out every time. And then, for how long am I not going to be able to grow outdoor in my garden because the ground is going to be covered by? Particles? I don't know. I am not a scientist. I am just a synthetic. So this is my fear for today. I'm going to start a recorded diary, hopefully every day, and share my fears, share my anger, share the solutions I can think of. So today we got to start being proactive. Our government are not protecting us, it's up to us to take action and do something about it. So I'm going to try every day to 